Welcome to Unit 14, Part 1. In this video, we're just going to talk about uh, mass storage, a little bit about disk, uh, disk structure, so we can start to talk about disk scheduling algorithms. So, in uh, your system, you have different, uh, you have volatile storage and non-volatile or persistent storage. So, and you want to put a bunch of your uh, information, your computer wants to put information onto this persistent storage. And there are changes over to, to solid, sta solid state disks and flash storage and all of that and cloud storage. But right now in uh, this unit, we are going to talk about hard disks and disk drives because it still makes up and is a less expensive at this time alternate uh, use for storing material and it's still very much used but they are magnetic disks and they are mechanical and there are issues that can happen so we're just going to talk about the structure of them and how the operating system can assist in uh, optimizing the requests for data on these disks so uh, moving on. Okay, so here's uh, just a, a look at the first commercial disk drive, and it's pretty amazing how uh, how far we've come since 1956. And here's a, a an overview of a hard disk, and it's made up of a series of platters, and the platters are broken up into into um, tracks. And on the tracks, and all the tracks are broken up into sectors. So, uh, and if you take a, all, there's a series of platters that are all um, on top of each other. And there's, the, there's this arm assembly and the head on the arm. And it floats right above the, the platters. And it's a static. So uh, there's a tracks are are on each of the platters but if you take all the platters collectively one track on all of the platters collectively is called a cylinder so we're going to talk about disk scheduling algorithms and how uh, we how the operating system can help to optimize the movement of the read write of the head of the arm assembly to the correct cylinder but there are other things to take into consideration, like the rotation of the to the particular sector on the particular track, and also the transfer of the data. So uh, disk drives uh, keep all of the information as if it's a one-dimensional large uh, array of data, and then the information you need to move the arm to the correct cylinder and then rotate the disk to the correct sector and then transfer the information. So if you take an overview from the top, again, this just uh, is just again another way to look at it. Uh, from the top, you are broken, the disks are all broken up into tracks and the tracks are then broken into sectors and a series of tracks on all of the platters are called a cylinder and sector zero track zero is the outermost uh, track on the on the platter or the discs so zero is the outside and it goes all the way into the inside so it could go from zero to 199 zero to 4999 depending on how many tracks there are on the platters and a track and a cylinder are used interchangeably because the cylinder is just the is just the name for all of the tracks on all of the disks but you want your 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 data is not going to be on all of the tracks it's going to be on one of the tracks but the entire arm assembly is going to move to the whole assembly to a particular cylinder so another way uh, of storing data is using solid state disks, which is very, which is growing in more and more popularity because it does not uh, require all of this uh, movement because on a hard disk, there's all this movement of the arm assembly and the arm has to move to the correct cylinder and then the 
disc has to rotate and all of that. So there's a lot of uh, there's seek time and rotational latency and all of this information. Uh, there are some concerns because solid state discs may be more expensive and have a shorter lifespan and have less capacity. But there are uh, also it could they can be more reliable than hard disks and uh, it's a different process for transferring the data. So we will be talking in the next video about hard disks and the role of the operating system in helping to move the head and the arm assembly to the correct cylinder to uh, optimize the uh, locating the data on, on the hard disks. Thank you.